soil. Oh, here we go. Pace. Everybody's got a shout out. Everybody. We garden for many reasons, and behind the best gardens is a clear vision. Here at Cabramatta High School in Western Sydney, there's a brand new garden with a very special and a very welcome vision for everyone, everywhere. The population at Cabramatta um, has been made up of young people who've come from countries where they've lived through war and political turmoil. And I've had a long interest in how to help traumatise young people. Uh, we thought that a peace garden would be a place uh, for healing and for reflection and for remembrance. The students who built this garden represent 30 different ethnic groups and they worked with their school counsellor, Elizabeth Pickering, to realise their vision, a garden for peace. The key landscape element is a dry riverbed which symbolises our life journey together in which everyone at the school placed a pebble. At its start, there's a small bridge symbolising the need to build connections and to start healing personal trauma. Flowing down the river are handmade peace stones made by the students. This is peace in Khmer. It is pronounced Sundafil. Peace in Serbian is Mir. I'm from Sweden and peace in my language is Fried. Peace in Chinese is pronounced as He Ping. Peace in Georgia, Shridova. Peace in Spanish is Bas. My name is Janet and I am in Year 8. Hi, my name is Annie and I'm in Year 11. Hi, I'm Vicky and I'm in Year 10. Hi, I'm Cheng and I'm in Year 11. Hi, I'm Hilly and I'm in Year 4. I think that Peace Garden is a place that people can acknowledge the different cultures we have at our school. The Peace Garden is used for many different reasons. We usually have ceremonies where the Peace Garden is because it represents peace. Things in the peace garden, such as um, the trees, the, um, the water, the bridge, it all, re all symbolises something which relates to harmony. Harmony is acceptance okay. of oh, different God. cultures. I think my, uh, Peace City would have a lot of trees, a lot of plants, um, lots of houses and lots of, people, lots of parks that people can play at. A Peace City needs a peace garden, just like our school. I think every community needs one just to reflect on peace. A place where everyone is happy, where everyone has a smile on their face and there's no conflict between one another. I will create my peace city by creating an environment where people can interact without hesitation between one another. Peace and that's peace. peace. Each element of this garden is built with symbolism as much as good design and practical gardening in mind. There's a lily pilly hedge to create a sense of enclosure. The original eucalyptus trees have been protected and retained. There's aloe vera for healing, young olives for reconciliation and rosemary for remembrance. Cabramatta High School in Sydney's west has several students who've benefited from the work of the United Nations in getting children away from areas of conflict. Like many schools across Australia, Cabramatta High has an ethnically diverse student population of which is extremely proud. But some of the young people here have the most extraordinary stories of surviving war and the horrors of refugee camps. People were shot just for making any comments, any comments against the rebels or anything. People were shot right in front of our eyes. I remember seeing the bullets light for the people who were shot. I've had the good fortune of meeting some very ordinary people, as the world would call them, but doing extraordinary things in these impossible circumstances, defying the conditions and the values imposed upon them by war, and demonstrating such incredible faith, generosity, selfless giving, and sheer courage in impossible against impossible uh, odds.
For these people who've experienced so much trauma in their young lives, the challenge ahead is to build a future, often without the family support most take for granted, in a country far from their strife-stricken homes. Before I begin, I would just like to say that I was inspired to write this poem by the peace garden we have at Kamenana High School. It is a symbol of peace and hope for many students, some of whom have personally experienced the detrimental effects of war. It is up to us. The world is around us, but it is also in our hands. We have seen the colours of many nations, smelt the scent of exotic spices, heard the drums, guitars, the music. We have felt the one water through our fingers, but our mouths were foul with the words of the past. Hatred, racism, war. Hatred that separated fellow men, racism that promoted ignorance, and war, the beginning of famine, disease, and death. Smell the exotic spices, hear the drums, guitars, the music. We can feel the one water through our fingers, and together, we can sing the songs of peace. We wanted the outside community to know that Cabramatta School was just a really wonderful model of multiculturalism at its best, where students work together, where there is tolerance, uh, where there's a, a wonderful sense of um, unity in our school community. For many people, a garden is a refuge, and for many of these students, Australia is their refuge, for which they have built a garden. We can see many nations living as one. We can feel the one water through our fingers and together we can sing the songs of peace. Cabinet yele abamako. Hey! 